The electricity network's been served really well over the last hundred years with the infrastructure that we have, but customer demand is growing rapidly. A few weeks ago I got a letter from my energy supplier telling me when the smart meter would be installed, around about what time they were going to be installing it around this area. And then an installer arrived on my property. I did speak to him about the certain worries I had about it and he assured me that everything was going to be okay. So I did feel better about it after that. Whenever we are working on site with the, the customer's meter board, customer's meter, wiring, any of the assets, uh, safety is always number one priority. There's no compromise. So after he'd installed the meter, he came and saw me and he gave me a brochure and he explained to me um, how he had done it, how he had checked the meter board, how everything was safe. Um, it took very little time, just about an hour. So it was a re really, it was a very easy exercise from beginning to end. All our installers are fully qualified electricians. They hold an A grade licence or a linesman qualification or meter installer qualification. We provide an additional two weeks training. It's very intensive and it's hands on training. We wouldn't want anybody to be working on the, on the network that uh, don't have the right qualifications and the right attitudes and the right behaviours. The fact of the matter is that uh, the installer should be treating every installation as if it's his own family and it was his own place he was putting on supply. The smart meters are fully designed and developed in Australia, so before any meter gets installed on a consumer's premise, it is fully tested in accordance with Australian standards. We won't see the full range of benefits until the end of the rollout, which is in 2013. At that point, when all the infrastructure is in place and the technology is fully working, then customers will have the opportunity to really make the most of the benefits of the Smart Meter program. Once they get their in-home displays and have the ability to really understand and manage their household usage. Well, since we've had a baby, um, I'm using white goods, all my white goods so much more often. So many more dishes, so much more washing. We wash, like, all, all the time. All the time. <laughs> we've been looking for ways to manage our bill, especially once we found out about the smart meters, we wanted to do a bit of research on them, find out how they work. It's often the small things. Households are filled now with electronic equipment, whether it's your television and your computer systems, are often left on standby overnight. And I think customers will be surprised that while they've been sleeping, they've actually consumed quite a degree of power. And, it, and it's a simple way that they may be able to look at it saving energy and make better choices for themselves. All the smart meters rolled out in Victoria are solar ready. That means that as a customer decides to install solar panels at their premise, the smart meter will automatically be able to measure their consumption and generation back out into the grid. Electricity is something that's just there. It drives all the things in our lives. I work with it every day. I have done for over 20 years now. In my job here in the control room, where I'm operating and controlling the network, smart meters will give us a a greater level of understanding of what's happening in the network. I'll have a lot more information, I'll be able to make better decisions, I'll keep more customers on supply. Being able to you know before the customer's even called that they've got an outage and our trucks are out on the road going to fix that, that's really exciting and I think that will make such a difference to customers. So when we have bushfires, uh, floods, uh, extreme weather events, smart meters will enable us to better manage and distribute electricity across the network. We can ensure that essential services such as hospitals, uh, fire stations, uh, emergency centres can remain on supply. We use uh, radio communications to, uh, to talk to every smart meter on a daily basis. That information is brought back over radio networks back to our central uh, systems where we process, manage the data, validate to ensure that it's correct. Smart meters are being rolled out globally in the United States, Europe, so consumers are now starting to understand uh, throughout the world some of the benefits associated with smart meters. The, the more accurate billing, improved services, information regarding their consumption, a whole range of uh, benefits flow from smart metering directly to the consumers. 
Well, we've got two and a half million metres to install, and it's a little bit like building a bridge. You've got to start somewhere. So it starts with that first metre, and this program won't finish until those two and a half million metres are sitting on our householders' walls. Now, having Alexander makes you sort of more aware of the future, really. And it's like, well, what's, what are they going to inherit from us? And I think the smart metres are a step in the right direction for that future in terms of putting in an infrastructure that's going to benefit not only us, but, but our son's generation. The rollout of smart meters is certainly the biggest initiative that the Victorian electricity industry has ever seen. And I'm really excited about the opportunities that smart meters will bring to Victoria.